It depends on who you're meeting at the client. If, if you're meeting the treasury team, the first question usually is how much money can I save by, by issuing one of these transactions? But I think we've moved on from that. I think today, you know, most organizations are making ESG a very integral part of their, their strategy. Uh, and it's coming from top down and, and bottom up as well. So, you know, when, when this when this market started opening up, yes, the question used to be, look, I'm going to have to put this framework in place. I'm going to have to spend money on an SPO. I'm going to have to think about, you know, accessing and marketing. Is it worth it? Am I going to make, am I going to make some savings on the, the coupon that I pay? And our answer was very simple. It was, no, you're not. Uh, but what you are doing is you are communicating to a very broad audience what your strategy is. And you're also diversifying your investor base because a lot of ESG dedicated funds had been set up and, and they needed product as well. So you weren't just going back to the same old fund managers every time, you were actually opening up your, your investor pool. So that was the initial driver. Now last year, because markets were extremely buoyant, what we did see was that ESG bonds or a labeled bond was actually providing a cost saving as well. The, the term greenium that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. So an issue would could typically say between three and five basis points per annum by issuing a bond which had a label versus their conventional bond. And similarly, during a slightly volatile times, we found that the ESG bonds didn't sort of move up and down in terms of pricing as much as the conventional bonds, because a lot of the buyers of those transactions are buy and hold funds. They, they actually want that type of product. So, so there was a bit of a cost saving. Today, I, I'd say that's been eliminated again because we've got some crazy volatility in these markets. But the, the ESG journey for many of those companies is still continuing.